This is Wade from FishFinderMouse.com and we have our precision transducer mounting product here, but we have actually tested it now and done it with, I used it with Lyscope and it is phenomenal, it's fantastic. And it's really taking over our Gen 2 um, pole and beam live sonar um, mounting product. Uh, we have a Gen 2 and a Gen 3, any of, that, any of you that are familiar with our products. So uh, this would be our Gen 3 here right now. Um, so it's a similar design, okay? And it's got a one inch beam and you can see the receiver block here and the whole bit. Now, this is the precision, okay? So this is our lighter duty of maw, which is still very, very tough and strong. It's all still hard, hard uh, aluminum anodized and just phenomenal machine work. You can just see it right here. But look at how small it is, man. Like for kayaks and small boats and everything, this is a great, great solution. Um, but then we do have a Cadillac of the series, which is our Gen 3, where you can even get a twist handle and a bunch of different things. I'm just showing you the difference in size, okay? So this is about one third smaller again. But our precision here, like the Gen 3, will still be, uh, will still have basically all the same exact options. So this is sort of the formu formulation of, you see the difference between the, the precision and the Gen 3, the Gen, the Gen 3 requires this footing plate, whereas you can see like the mounting holes here on the precision are right in, like integrated right into the mounting block here, right into the mounting receiver block itself. So if you don't need any riser block, so if you have a bass boat or a boat where you, you want to mount onto the deck, but you need to rise it up, ultimately, here is our riser blocks for this series of products. You can have your mount, your riser block, and then a footing plate. So we still have that capability and we'll still have that on the website, okay? So you'll be able to have this riser block and then this and then onwards, just like the Gen 3. But if you don't have um, a need for the riser block, of course, you just screw this receiver block straight down. You can see it is the difference here, guys. Maybe we'll put it over here for the camera to have a good shot at. You still have a little bit of rise there, okay? You can see there's a bit of a rise there. So you do have some space underneath here and everything. Okay guys, right there. If you want to, what I'll probably do is if you want a little bit more space, you can always just get this riser block. Um, the way that it fixes is I'll just show you quickly here. You take the beam out here and you can see these holes. I'll show where the camera can see, hopefully. They all line up and we'll give you the hardware if you want to have a footing plate to give it a little bit more rise. This is about three eighths aluminum here, by the way, guys, three eighths. That's what it's going to give you an extra height. Okay. So that is, so let's plug it back in here. Okay. So the default for our live sonar version of this, you take this guy. Now look again, so to show you guys, so to show you guys how you can, this is still, again, the same feature set as before. So you can lock that guy in. You can, you can tighten it up with your tensioner knob here, just like before, right here, and lock that so it's nice and solid. Now, of course, I had this on a clamp for display, guys. And you notice the clamp, the way I've got it situated, it's on the end of the clamp. That's another thing that people don't realize with our awesome clamps here. These are gunnel clamps here. They're phenomenal. And you can make them into dual jaws. This is a dual jaw here. Um, if the camera goes underneath and looks, it's a dual jaw version. So we have a dual jaw here and it has a secondary jaw where, where it can actually even correct the pitch of the, the clamp. But you can actually mount the receiver blocks on the end or the top. Now typically in a boat, you're gonna have it where your gunwale edge of the boat rises up obviously from the keel all the way up and it's gonna go, this will sit on there. That's why we call them gunnel clamps. But you can also put this on a deck, a horizontal uh, position and yet still mount this system. Like let's say you have a pontoon boat or what have you, for some reason you wanna clap it on the edge of the deck, this is a way you can configure it. Even though we might have it with the receiver block coming like this when you get it because that's typically how guys will want it. But 
If you have a unique situation, hey guys, no problem. You can change it to this plane or this X, Y axis or whatever you want to call that. So this is our four inch uh, gunnel clap and that's a two and a half inch gunnel clap. We're the only ones that have gunnel clamps like this in the world and they are phenomenal. Um, so we've got that plus, we also have our stabilizer plate. I'm rattling through a lot quickly guys, but you can call us at 1-855-784-3474, fishfindermounts.com. Make sure you visit our website, Fish Finder Mounts. What do we do? We make Fish Finder Mounts, fishfindermounts.com, and you can get the stabilizer plate. What does that help with? Well, like the dual jaw, the second jaw helps it from wobbling this way, and this stabilizer plate, when it's in this format here, it helps it from not wobbling at all left or right as well. So it is almost like having a permanent mount on your gunnel edge of your boat, it's amazing. Of course, you're gonna get longer choices of longer poles. This is just for demonstration. You got your gunnel clamp on here. This is a three quarter inch pole here, okay guys? So we'll lock this in so it's nice and sturdy and you can see it just turns nice and silently like that. However you want it to be, you can tighten it up and lock it in so it doesn't turn at all, okay? now. You also have a choice of your handles. This is the basic handle that we're gonna probably have it with as default. There won't be a selection for this. This will be the default handle that'll come with. But if you want a fancier handle, you can get that too. So you see, look at this. this our pole cap even comes off these three quarter inch poles. Really nice. Okay, just winds out just like so. You can see the threaded edges here, the threads on the inside of this three quarter inch. Again, three quarter inch diameter pole here. You could take this guy instead and you can hand adjust. So this guy here, the basic handle will come with an Allen key. You will have to use the Allen key to make adjustments up and down and then retighten it. If you want the fancier handle, you can do this by hand. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna stick this handle on here. Okay, now I've got that on here. And you can adjust this to different detents of angle, okay? So there's different angles that you could get. And this is the same handle basically we use it in our Gen 3. You could even have this if you really need extra length, just upwards, you could have it like that. And of course, at the end of the day, when you wanna fold everything up and keep everything nice and portable, you can take everything apart and we can just fold everything up with a nice folding handle. This one, you won't be able to do that. You'd have to take it right off. So um, there is our extendable folding handle option that will be on there if you prefer that instead of the default handle. And our nice little pull cap with fishfindermounts.com logo on. We'll pop that back on here. And again, you have your shaft collar here. You would set this shaft collar, the three quarter inch shaft collar with your Allen key as well. Once you find that depth that you always like this, your, your live sonar transducer to be at. And again, this is compatible, everybody. This is compatible compatible with your Lowrance Active Target, your Hummingbird Mega 360 or Mega Live, and also with, of course, the Garmin Live Scope series of products. So whatever one you want. So I've loosened the shaft collar off and we can slide it up and down. Once we find that depth we prefer on our boat, then we can take this guy and of course just tighten it up. And there you have it, riding nicely on that shaft collar right there. This is a shorter beam. I think this is six inches, somewhere in six inches range. And I'll put that on the website where, the, where you can buy this. And then you'll have this longer shaft if you need a longer shaft. Right there, you'll see it's, it's a few more inches longer. I think this is 11 and this is round 11 and this is six, okay? So that's the, that's the difference there, guys. So that just plugs in just like, just like you saw, just so you so you can see. Now, when you guys are using this, by the way, when you guys are using any of our live sonar mounts, this tensioner knob, if you're gonna stow this, like when you want this up and out of the water and you wanna go somewhere else on the lake and you wanna blast there, maybe it's a little wavy and stuff like that, lock that in. Don't rely on the pin to keep everything, um, don't rely on this pin to just take all the weight. You should lock this in as well, okay guys? to keep that uh, strength uh, on both, like the, the vibration effects hitting at least this as well as that. So that way you're not gonna bust your pin off here because you know you got a lot of pressure in these uh, situations, um, a lot of physics going on. So here we go. You should also, in this pull system, 
you should think about balancing things off because you're gonna have a fairly heavy transducer with your cord coming down the pole and you should balance this off when you're stowing it quickly just by adjusting this and just like, let's say your pole's this long, we'll adjust this and get the, the balance of the weight roughly centered and then again, lock this down. Now it's stowed, okay, in the stowed position. But I'm gonna show you that indeed this can slide out and like I was saying in the video earlier, I'm going to get to these two things sh very shortly, but here is the longer version here, okay? Right there, guys. That's the longer one. And again, you got four axis adjustment here. And you can see if the camera comes right down, these lines and these holes, everything's supposed to line up. So that gives you really good uh, visual indicators of how to line everything up. And again, there you go or let's have it here, whatever you need to do. And if you needed to put it in backwards, of course, there wouldn't be a table here, it'd be the inside of your boat. So a lot of guys like to do that too, when they want to stow it. So that is our longer beam of the whole situation. Now, going back to this guy here, okay, we've got our beam, we're gonna pop this in, and we're gonna pull the pin here. There will be a linchpin included here, that you guys can have in or not, it's a little safety, mechanism just to make sure that none of you guys forget uh, and you know pull something out and then suddenly boom it's in the drink um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop this down and we're going to do let's let's take this i'll show you the adjustability you still have a tilt adjustability as well now it's it's been it's made on sort of a sprocket type of uh, pattern here similar to these like this like you see the teeth here here you can see there's teeth. So you can adjust it at various angles again, still here, and then lock it in. What we're gonna do for the video's sake here is we're going to unlock it and we're gonna lock it in in a folded way. So you can also tilt it, not even just rotate it, but you can also still tilt this whole thing up out of the water. Let's do this and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, if we take this pin, we could even lock it down this way, see? And then we could bring it back up, of course, as well. Now, I'm doing this because I wanna show you how this goes. This is our fancy perspective adapter here um, from fishfinderbounce.com, our phenomenal little product here. And you got all these different settings here. You can see these are all five degree increments. And you just take your little pin and pull it out and you can just set whatever perfect situation is that you need for your viewing angle. And the way that this goes in is it just goes in just like so. You'll see on the edge here, I'll just rotate this a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, there it is there. Just lock that guy down again. So what you see here, and I'll just, so this is nice and rigid. We're gonna lock everything down with our tensioner knob here so there's no movement whatsoever. And of course, if you screwed this down, you know, there wouldn't be any movement to a boat because it's just everything would be just screwed right down. But here we go, we've got this lined up. And of course you'd have your little Allen key button head 1024 screw, and then that would lock that. You just drive that down and boom, you've got that done. If you have a Lowrance or a Hummingbird Mega uh, live here, you're gonna want the cylinder adapter. You can also put the Garmin stuff on here. This is just our own, this is for Garmin. Our perspective is for Garmin products only. But this guy here, okay, same thing again, same screw. Just line it up and get the screw in there. There'll be a little long key we'll include for you with this. You just tighten that nicely down. This is three inches long, so it accepts all the live sonar products. There's some that are just two and there's some that are three. So it's gonna, and it's got a nice little lip here and the whole bit. So it's just phenomenal and again, Pulling this, or let's just, let's just adjust the tilt here, guys. We'll adjust the tilt. Actually, let's put back, let's put this perspective, a nice perspective on here. So there will be these options on this product page. And why are we doing another one of these similar designs? Well, this is the idea, guys. We are, this is going to be the low level cost uh, of this style of product for fishfindermounts.com. So if you want an entry level cost product that has all of those awesome features on it that are other products here you see, look at this. You will want to look at this. It's still a phenomenal, very strong, tough product too. 
So here, look at this. So there's our perspective. Now this would be in forward and down mode. And then if you want it in perspective mode. So it does all. Our perspective mode adapter, our perspective mode adapter does all modes. Down, forward, and some call them, uh, Hummingbird I think might call it Scout or Landscape and either or and Lurant's one of the two as well. And then of course the perspective mode is the Garmin term but everybody's kind of come to know it as perspective. That would be the perspective arrangement right there you see. And of course, as I showed earlier, you can take this pin and you can adjust it by little bits if you want, just nicely. So just reach out to us and we'll be happy to hear from you. Thanks for watching everyone.